Welcome to Excel Med Trick number 1097. Hey, if you want to download this workbook, 1095 to 1097, click on the link below the video. Hey, in this video, we want to talk about AND criteria and OR criteria together in formulas that can count, add, and we want to see how to conditionally format rows based on both AND and OR criteria. Now, AND criteria means that two or more things have to be true. So if I say count all the records that are chin and B, I would look through and only when I find chin true and B true, two trues, will I be able to count it. But that's not quite a, what I want. I want to say please find all the chins and category A or B or C. So when I look through this data set, I'm asking the question, are you chin true? Are you A, B, or C true? When I get down to this one, I say, are you chin true? Are you A, or B, or C false? So how do I do that in a formula? Well, you can actually use for counting, count ifs, and for adding some ifs. But it will involve a function argument array operation. All right, so let's we're counting here, so let's use count ifs. Now, criteria range, let's start with the employee. So I highlight the whole range, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace to jump back up. We don't need to lock these, comma. Criteria, well, we have a single criteria, right, or criterion. That argument is expecting a single item. So it goes through there. And right now, it would just count how many chins there are. But we have two conditions. So we go over to criteria range 2, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace comma, and here's the magic, criteria 2. If we highlight a single one, it would be and, and, but we're going to highlight all three. As soon as we put into this argument more than one item, that means the function itself will be spitting out three more than one answer, right? Criteria 2 is expecting a single item. We give it 1, 2, 3. That means count ifs will spit out three answers. And guess what? It'll get one answer for A, one answer for B, and one answer for C. And all three of them will be A and chin, B and chin, C and chin. There we go. F9 to evaluate it. So how many chins in A were there? Zero. How many chins in B were there? One. How many chins in C were there? Two. Now that's an array created by our formula element, Control Z. If I put it in sum, it would require some special keystroke. No way. I'm going to use sum product. Sum product can add, if you use just a single array argument, it'll handle that array calculation and add it perfectly. When I hit Enter, boom, there's the count. How many chin? And category A or B or C are there. There's three in that data set. We can do something similar for adding, but we're going to use sum ifs. The sum range, since we're adding units, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace. Control Backspace just jumps the screen back in view. Criteria range one, employees, Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace, comma. There's our chin criteria. Criteria two. Control Shift down arrow, Control Backspace. And here's our function argument array operation. Criteria 2, bloop, I'm giving it 3. So that means sum ifs is going to spit out three answers. If I were to use sum function to add that resultant, whoops, Control Z. If I, let's highlight this and hit F9. You can see I get 0, 28, and 38. That means for chin and A, 0. For chin and B, total is 28. For chin and C, 38. Because we're doing OR and we want to add them all, we simply put it inside of some product. That wonderful array argument can handle that array operation, no problem. Enter, so 66. Now, how do we do, do conditional formatting? I'm actually going to drag this down because I want to build the formula off to the side. And then copy it over and down to see the patterns of trues and falses. Because if we're going to highlight the whole row, I need a true, true, and true in the cell to say, hey, row, get the formatting. Hey, guess what? This is and, so I'm going to use and. Well, the first one is for this data set. Remember, 
it's the same size as this range over here. So this formula will go into the dialog box, but it's as if it's in this cell and copied over and down. I'm going to ask the question, employee, each one of these cells here in the dialog box or here in the cells needs to be locked when we go to the side, but not when we go down. So I hit the F4 key three times, lock the column, but not the row. Are you equal to chin F4 to lock in all directions, right? Comma. Now all we need is a single true here, but it's got to be from an OR logical test. So we slap the OR function right into AND logical test. All right. So now I'm going to say D. And notice this is for that first record, so I need to lock it on the column, F4 three times. Are you equal to? Now I'm going to use an array formula here which will require control shift enter in the cells, but it will not require it in the dialog box because the dialog box can handle it. I'm just going to go bloop, and F4 to lock it in all directions. Right now, if I were to highlight this, an array operation is anytime you're doing some operation on more than one item, that's more than one item. I'm asking all three items simultaneously, are you equal to D? If I hit F9 to evaluate it, you can see I get false, false, false. Remember, OR is only looking for one of the trues, Control-Z. Now, that is going to require Control-Shift-Enter. The OR is going to deliver true or false to the AND close parentheses, Control Shift Enter. I'm going to copy it over and then copy it down. Notice there's our pattern of trues for the fact that it found chin or A, B, or C. If I scroll down here, there's our patterns of true, which are going to help our conditional formatting. Now, when I use Control Shift Enter and copy down and over, Control Shift Enter says, hey, do the array calculation. Those curly brackets are put in automatically when I use Control Shift Enter. The Control Shift Enter is me telling Excel I'm doing an array formula. The curly brackets are Excel saying, hey, I understood. But check this out. I'm going to copy this and escape to keep those curly brackets. These cells over here were just for us to figure out the formula. They have nothing to do with the actual formatting. Now I highlight Control Shift Down Arrow. Make sure that active cell in the upper corner is highlighted because I copied the formula from there. Home, conditional formatting, new rule, or Alt O D, Alt N, arrow, 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 tab. Control V. I put that formula right there. And it is an array formula, but it's not going to require Control Shift Enter. Put whatever formatting you want. I'm going to put yellow or something like that. Click OK, click OK, click OK. And just as we copied it over and down here, in memory it copied down and over. And there's our OR and an OR criteria together. If I were to change this to E, the question is different. Is it chin and is it A or E or C? Now we get four records. Control Z. All right, so some and and or together. We saw how to use count ifs and a function argument array operation inside of some product. We saw some ifs with a function arg whoops. Function argument array operation inside of some product. And then we saw this awesome and and or together. All right, we'll see you next video.